everybody, we are back for another unboxing. And I had something arrive today from the Leather Guy Wisconsin, the Leather Guy WI. And all I did was cut the top. And it looks like there's another, <laughs> another envelope inside as well. I've never ordered anything from him, but I was wanting something let me talk after I cut. <clears throat> I'm sure there's no invoice. Um, I've never ordered anything from the Leather Guy Wisconsin before. Here's his information. They're an Etsy store. They make notebooks, um leather goods, other other things for, you know, notebooks. And next year, I'm going to be doing a bullet journal for a little bit. <laughs> See a little bit of my glare. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't decided if I'm going to use my Leuchtturm 1917 or if I'm going to use the Midori. And I love the Midori because the paper is just wonderful. I love the paper so much on it. I've never used a Leuchtturm before. I have one. But I haven't, I haven't used it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so let's. Ooh, that's a pretty color. You can barely see the color. Well, here, let's just flip it all off. <clears throat> the only thing I have for an A5 is a. Um, Hobonichi cover that's black on the outside and a and like a pear green acid green or whatever on the inside and then I have a foxy fix that is like this big blue <laughs> this big blue thing and I've been using I'll just get them my um Moterm passport and standard traveler's notebook and I've been using a Foxy Fix that I got from the mystery sale. And he had something that kind of reminded me of it. It's not the same leather, but um, you know, just their undertones were the same. And I'm I'm loving that that brown. I'm also using my um olive Midori for um for my uh Hebrew school classes. But um so let's take a look at this. And I, I've never seen one of his oops, let me get my coffee out of the way. I've never seen one of his notebooks in person, but look at that. And so you can see it has a beautiful caramel color. I'm going to smell it. It smells wonderful. As you can see, like the cow had gotten maybe some barbed wire or a tree branch. You can see it's machine stitching and you can see the edges have been, um, they're a little natural, but the inside, oh, look at that. So it's a big full pocket on this side with the card slot. There's a big pocket on this side. And then you also have this little, that's for the strap, the elastic that will keep it closed. That way, that way there's no um, elastic closure. And then there's also an elasticated pen loop right here. Oh. So, it looks like both will fit. I'm going to try sliding in that's the Midori. Totally fits. Look at that. And then you could probably even fit it underneath that side as well. Um, No, and I have the, and that was with having the Midori plastic sleeve on it as well. That's pretty cool. Now here is the Leuchtturm. Um, when you do slide these in, you do lose the use of the pocket, but I never used that pocket to begin with. So, let 
But what is so cool about this type of a design is if you are using a big bound book like this, see the elastic can come out. Let me put the... I'm not a big fan of these type of bookmarks. I usually end up cutting them. But see, you can keep your book closed and then you can put other notebook or insert here. So I haven't decided. I I think I might start the year in the MD. One, because I know the paper and I know how it works with the type of tools that I use. I know that if I use some, um, these look like watercolors, but they're not. It's um, Tombow brush markers. I used them in the pan and then added some water and then used them to lay down like a wash of watercolor. I know that they work, the MD paper works well with Tombow markers. Um, I know the MD paper works well with watercolors. Um, you do have to let it dry. I also like the fact that it has one bookmark and it's very small. Um, so if I do choose to not use it, then I can. I like dot grid paper and I like grid paper, but lately I've been liking grid paper. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and my eyes are changing, but I've been liking the grid better because I can see it. But one thing I do like about the dot grid is after you write a whole page on dot grid, the dots kind of fade into the distance. With grid, not so much, but this is a very light bluish grayish greenish i'm not really quite sure what the color is um <clears throat> i guess depending on your your scene and color that would determine the um the color <laughs> if, if it's blue it's gray it's green it, i could see it being a little bit of all of the above so that probably means it's gray um <clears throat> But I, I like the cream paper. Here we are talking about notebooks. Um, and the look term is a cream, but it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit brighter than this. And I think with my dyslexia, I tend to like the cream papers better. Actually writing on like yellow paper, you know, those um, tabs, tablets of paper you would get at Office Max, Office Depot, that, you know, you'd rip off from the top. Those, when I was in high school, were like really great for me because of my dyslexia. Um, but yeah, so not a review of the, the notebook, but a, the notebook cover. But look how beautiful this is. He makes lots of different sizes. He makes them to fit the Moleskine. He makes them to fit the Moleskine Expanded. Um, he makes them to fit <clears throat> You saw a like term. Um, the Midori fits it. If you go to his Etsy store, oops, what did I get on the table? Oh, I was arting. It might have been confetti and glitter and stuff. Christmas is coming. <laughs> wow, look how beautiful that is. So I think I am going to start with the Midori. And I'm going to, let's put it in and see, let's see. I'll do this the way I used to have to do when I had a Chic Sparrow. Let's see what that does. I think this is always the hardest part is <laughs> getting your notebook in the cover. <clears throat> Now he also makes them with different pocket configurations. Here, that's not gonna work because of the plastic cover, I think. Let me do do. I'll speed this up. There, I think that's where it needs to be. I think it's because of the, the plastic cover. But he, he also has different 
pocket configurations. He has something that reminded me very similar to that of a Galen leather, where it actually has like a, a pocket and then one of those straps where you could clip different fountain pens to. I think he also had one where this elastic pen loop was on this side. So there you go, just a short, quick unboxing of a beautiful notebook cover from the Leather Guy Wisconsin. And that's also his Instagram handle. Oh, he doesn't have Instagram on here. But that's his Instagram. If you do at the Leather Guy WI, you'll be able to find him. Okay, there you go. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I will get back with you. And I will also link his Etsy shop and I will also link his um, Instagram so you can see a lot of the beautiful leather covers that he produces. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.